Christian Meds. Just within the last two hours, CU has self-imposed penalties for its failure to report domestic violence accusations made against assistant football coach Joe Tumpkin. The Board of Regents just came to that conclusion after months of investigation. Denver 7's Jason Grenner has been on this story from day one and has the findings tonight. Jason? Yes, and good good afternoon rather to you. More than 100 pages of final investigation investigative reports from two different law firms ultimately drawing the conclusion that the head football coach, the athletic director and the chancellor at CU Boulder did not do the right thing in how they handled these allegations of domestic violence against a former assistant football coach Joe Tumpkin that were made by his ex-girlfriend. Now ultimately the board came up that with the fact that there were three total violations in the failures that happened here. That, those included the failure to report domestic violence allegations, the failure to report information to law enforcement officials, and finally the failure of supervision of Coach Tumpkin. Now with that come the following penalties. For the chancellor, a 10-day suspension, which he proposed the idea of. For the head coach and athletic director, a mandatory $100,000 donation to domestic violence programs. All will receive a letter of reprimand and mandatory training on proper reporting of domestic violence moving forward. Chancellor Stefano has uh, said that he made mistakes and he wished that he would have done things differently. Um, I think certainly we're all intent on improving going forward. Now, the Board of Regents did not take any questions after this. Instead, several statements were released. As for Coach McIntyre's multi-million dollar contract extension that had been put on the table, that will now be discussed at the CU Board of Regents next meeting, which comes just about in a week or so from right now. And as for the woman involved, she's filed a notice with a plan to sue the university for about three and a half million dollars. Her claim there, the university tried to cover all this up. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Jason Grenauer.